live inside the Cube. I'm John Furrier, the founder of SiliconAngle.tv.com, and we're here with Wikibon.org's Dave Vellante, and uh, we're on day three of EMC World 2012. I just had lunch, had a, I got my latte. Um, this has been an amazing week for uh, SiliconAngle Wikibon uh, team. Um, we got a great crew here. We have uh, 32 hours of programming, so we had a, a, an event here at EMC World in Vegas where EMC's had their annual conference, CIOs, customers, tech geeks, and um, they're interested in all new products. But then we, yesterday we, I flew back to San Francisco to uh, attend the HBase conference where we had a special cube and our first ever SiliconANGLE 2 channel launch um, to capture that content uh, around the top developers in the Hadoop community. Um, so, a busy week for us. We had over 120 guests we'll be interviewing, uh, 32 hours of programming, over two terabytes of archive footage from these events. Uh, two crews, uh, production and help, five hosts. We've had 10 CEOs on C-level executives, CEOs on theCUBE this week. So this kicks off our summer tour. Uh, we were at SAP Sapphire last week, now we're here at EMC World, we've got the HBase Conference, we've got HP Discover, IBM Edge, the list goes on and on and on. We've got Google I.O. right around the corner, so it's a very busy uh, time of the year in the conference circuit, and we're out, and we'll go wherever the stories are, we'll go out on the road to get those stories and bring them to you. Um, so the top news today is that really, for me, about what's happened yesterday at uh, the HBase conference, and, and really what HBase represents is a new database that sits on top of Hadoop that is fast, fast becoming the uh, database of choice for big data. And uh, it's creeping its way into production environments, not just within the large web companies, but also within uh, large production customer environments, like The Gap, like Fidelity, like, like other big companies are also embracing it, like eBay and among others. Uh, and companies like Dell Computer are actually doing very, very well um, in these enterprise scale environments because hyperscale web has huge requirements for commodity hardware and that's really the benefit of these new environments is the commodity hardware. Um, the commodity hardware is where the action is, that's allowing HBase to flourish, that's allowing the Hadoop big data ecosystem to start changing the game on the marketplace. So, exciting. Um, it was also very inspiring to hear from Facebook um, and their deployments of big data, and they share with, with the group, although we're not on camera, uh, their deployments of that. So, the other news is that Facebook's getting sued um, after their post-IPO, and um, it's, it's really interesting. Like, the whole Wall Street um, thing is, is like, Wall Street saying, you know, failed IPO. Again, I'm on the record saying that this is the most successful IPO, and uh, Facebook's uh, CFO, Dave Ebersman, um, is getting slam dunked by the journal because of the increase the size of the offering. Um, I have no problem with that. So, I mean, I think that they just pissed off that they didn't get what they wanted and that there was no manipulation. Um, it was a lot of exit, it was a lot of liquidity. That's also an objective of an IPO. Um, I think Facebook is a solid buy at this point. I'm bullish on Facebook. I think they're going to uh, continue the track record and torrid pace of innovation. Um, um, just like when I called the iPad um, right, I'm calling Facebook this way. I think I'm going to be 